Ah, get with the handoff. Yeah. Yeah, thank no, you. He, no, I am we'll part of the team it. effort, he got a always. Great, he did a look. good job of creating a channel for me to hand the no, controller no, to it you. Was, okay, look, it was beautiful. I kind of, like, they couldn't see it on camera, but, like, I did it, like, behind the back, and then I kind of, like, flipped it yeah. under the light oh, yeah, to you Garrett. Know what? He's right. And he kind of just, like, dunked yeah. it into, he added into all the Johnny Coca-Cola's hands. all the style. Yeah, it was, <coughs> um, if I do say so myself, I added all the style. Yep. Shep's doing real well tonight. So what, this is for fifth place? Loser gets fifth, winner... Seven? No, I think it's fifth. Yeah, fifth. Yeah, so... All I'm saying is, if I if I had tried a little harder, I could have stopped this. <laughs> but, yeah, Shep Dog making quite yeah, a run so far. Good job good job to Shep. He For sure. deserved the win. So what, Krom Palu... This sounds like... It just doesn't... Like, you say it's the words uh, Krom Palu, and immediately, like, you're like, mm, I don't know about that. What it means is that you can't really up B as Krom, because you'll just get countered. I'm pretty sure the counter reaches under the stage and you just die, or you get up smashed. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, know. There's, there's some sort good of... Good uh, spacing options from Go Man. Uh, Krom up B three times in a row. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do anything about it when you just retreat the ledge, so... Yeah, with Therefore, the way, he just didn't do anything about it. With the way Palutena carries people, not even just on this age, but in general, like, it, if... He gets put in like a serious disadvantage. Gets carried off the ledge. Like there's not a whole lot Go Man can do. Mm -hmm. He has to uh, just really hope he can get back with a jump and an air dodge. That pressure though, just keeping him stuck in shield. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Goes a bit Shep, high though. We'll get punished. Shep for it. does enjoy his defensive options. He likes the safe stuff. He likes what he knows works. Mm -hmm. He'll occasionally whip something out you're not expecting, but he generally like that. Just run halfway across the stage and dash attack. Yeah, and it works. So. There's good reason to do it. I right. think right there, Go Man thought he was going to go for the turnaround back air and DI'd in from the down throw, so it missed. Like, it's a 50 50 at that point. Like, you can DI out and try and do a defensive option before you get back aired. But if you DI in, it leaves up air as an option, but most people won't do that. So okay. it's just a mix up at that point. Missing the forwarder after the nair, so uh, <laughs> Go Man getting a chance just to reset the neutral there. He is down a stock now, though. Mm uh hmm. -huh. So gonna have to, you know, take Ooh. the stock, but it's just eating a whole lot of percent. Oh, good air to air. Oh, it just jumps right into it. Yeah, it that move stays out forever. Yeah, like like it's tough to deal with if you're just not paying attention for it. Wow, did you see that sliding F tilt to catch him before he ledge grabbed? That was sick. Oh. Twenty six point four percent, just for free. Yeah, quick and easy, just right out of shield, just hit him up, hit him down. But uh, still, he is very much at a deficit, but having oh, he's him stuck him above him. Yeah, also that new Phantom Footstool tech does not save him from sword, so does yep. not really matter. Will get hit if he's stuck without a double jump. Ooh, uh, trying to zone dodge, him out. Could jump air dodge onto the platform to live that. Man, if he had actually done that maybe like a Ooh. second sooner, it might have pushed him away from the ledge. But, I mean, he still gets the kill anyway. Yeah, it gets that, like, last tap of Nair, and apparently that just uh, sent him way off there. So, he's dead. Second stock gone. Oh. The get-up attack hits him back onto the stage. He tried for a quick ledge trump to get a back air, I'm sure. All right. They're both just trying to space here, Ooh, actually winning that. air dodges in aggressively and gets hit with a side B. It, it's so tough really to play from behind against Palutena. Yeah. Because she has good options up close. She has good options far away. Ooh, Ooh good single nice. hit Nair. F tilt, that was sick. Yeah. Uh, he's been using, it feels like he's been using that more lately and it's always just very good. And oh he is God, now in the, the lead. Juggles. Oh, oh, okay. Beautiful call out there. Dang. That and now sick. he has total control. Yeah, he's just, all right. Oh. See, he's, Push Shep into a position like Goman's gonna try and space out of like the very effective range of uh, side B. Like I don't think this is a situation where Shep really wants to try and do neutral B's a whole bunch. But like, yeah. At this point, Goman can just wait for Shep to mess something up and try and get like jab back air. Ooh, Ooh crossed nice. up with the neutral air. I, he got both hits and was still able to cross him up. That's crazy. Ooh. Oh, I could see Go Man wanted to try and get through the platform there. 
And Govan just not really getting hit for like the last minute or so. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, this, oh that get up attack was there. risky, but he was ready to. He, he, he honestly took kind of a risk there, DIing off the stage, because he knew Goman would jab instead of just going for the raw F tilt. Because if that had been F tilt, he would have been dead for sure. Mm hmm. That's so now just going for the the Rye F tilt. Oh, that invincible dash Ooh. attack. Oh, almost. That was that, almost just really the game a, right there. A good tell of whether. Ooh, sick back here. That's a good tell of whether or not your character is really good in this game. Is their dash attack invincible? If the answer is yes, you are a good character. <laughs> How many characters have that? I mean, it's like Palu. And I know like Snake's dash is invincible on startup. Oh really? Yeah, okay. his, his upper body, but that's the whole part that's even anywhere near you. So that's why yeah. it's so hard to punish. Palutena has invincibility on any move that has the shield. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. There's probably not too many that have invincible dashes, but all of the ones that I know for sure do are top tier characters. There's, so yeah. there are good dash attacks. Looks like we're still going to have Palu Krom. Shep is thinking deeply. So I know Shep really likes Pokemon Stadium. If we include the matches that I played against him before the match he had against Moist on stream, he has played, I think, six or seven matches on PS2. Yeah, like instead of going really to uh, Town and City, stage. though. But I think either Go Man banned it because he didn't really feel like playing on it again, or, like, PS2 is good enough for Krom that, like, Shep Dog is really thinking about whether or not he wants to keep taking Krom back to PS2. Yeah, I think he was just trying to go to for, like, a more flat stage, probably. Mm -hmm. This one, of course, is not always flat, but it's definitely got the moments. Yeah. And I think he really wants to just be able to try and shark him with uh, the up airs. Hmm. I mean, like, Krom's quick, though. He can get back to you. Oh, oh the stretcher of. missed the tech and got back aired for his trouble. Yeah, barely reached, that too. That was, uh, that was a great follow-up. Yeah. Great awareness One from Goman. One of the benefits that makes Krom arguably better than Roy is that you don't have to space nearly as efficiently as you do with Roy to get kill power. Oh. Ooh. He had the right idea. Yeah. Shep chose the right option to not die. <laughs> Yeah, because well, if that I mean, was, a died, if that was that air dodge been. down, that would be very bad for him. Yeah. Obviously not dead, but stuck yeah. off stage. Dang, Shep is just taking a ton of percent. He can't get Go Man off of him. Speaking of stuck off stage, can he even get off the sledge? Let's see. All right, all right, he's he good now. The That's another thing. Is like the blast zones on this stage are taller than they were in Smash Four. Yeah, it's very like, high. They're up still for sure. just about as wide, but the the top blast zone is not as close as it was and Goman's really not trying to kill off the top. Yeah. Like, I, it it's, has to be like 190% before he kills off the top with like, say, up throw or something. Yeah. But then it's just like, it's only like a slight, oh, oh he actually, he actually ran, ran past him. him through his roll animation. Yeah. That was really weird. The speed kind of uh, working against Krom for once there. Uh, and he tried it again. I mean, why not try it again? Mm -hmm. Shep might think he might not do it again. It's like, if your option didn't work, like, I could see trying it one more time just in case they think you won't do it again. Uh, going for fair. It doesn't kill, but it's uh, easier to oh, land. Oh, that was weird. I guess he might have thought he would have landed on the platform, too. Go Man kind of deked him with the... N oh! No, no, he still got up B, but... Oh, he got his air dodge he's back. He's fine. Yeah, I don't okay. think... He doesn't really want to be stuck up being, but he gets back anyway, dies, yeah. though. And... Shep actually turns this around, and he's got the stock, but he's very close. Oh, yeah. that is, yep, that's the stock yeah, right there. Yeah, he tried to jump out of shield to get away from the jab pressure, but it did not get him away. It's just too Double fast. Double Nair. Oh, yeah. another quick combo to get 50% on him. Ooh. Oh, that's really bad, though. Yeah, uh, but he tried to go for more of a safe, like, see what he's doing kind of edge guard, but ended up just missing. Yeah. Might have to take risks at this point. He's down 1-0 here. Pretty, pretty nearly here. facing elimination. Hmm. Definitely possible. Ooh, just wow. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> there was like no lag at the end of that. I'm surprised. I usually think that move's bad, but he just crossed up with it and then got an F smash. I think the whole reason that move could be good is the fact that you can cross up with it is probably why he did it. Hmm. He just, he knew there was like, there was no re oh, yeah. He just, yeah, he just did it again. Catching him jump, tomahawk, and catches him jumping. He was like, Shep likes to jump out of shield. Yep. I'm gonna jump, do nothing. He's gonna take a second, react to the fact that I didn't do anything, and maybe try to like do a jump, like fade back air out of shield, and just got wrecked. Yeah, but good Go showing. Man was just very aware of that happening. So yeah, good showing from Go Man. Yeah. Two O.
Yeah, go man 2-0 over Shep, so that puts go man into winner losers semis. Mm -hmm. Going up for against fourth Karenol. place against Karenol, wherein Shep ends with a very respectable fifth place, and I assume some money for his trouble. At yeah, I believe 87 entrance. Yeah, almost certainly a top eight payout. Yeah. Oh hey, we got yeah. A, yeah. I forgot we got look, that uh, that yeah, stat see, meters look, now. Look at especially that uh, that first stock in match two. Look, Crom got above a hundred and I think sixty percent mm -hmm. before he managed to take the stock off. But then you, Shep played a lot more efficiently stock two, as you can see, barely getting him around one hundred and twenty-five, evening up the percent, and then getting the kill. But then you could see right there he just took that jab back air. When he, because we talked about it, the jab back air with yeah, shield yeah. pressure, and immediately, and then it kind of it got equal around three minutes in, as you can see right there. But then it just Shep was taking way too much percent. Yeah, that's. And I think that's that like huge spike there is when he ate like the down air F smash cross yeah. up. Yeah. Um, Damage yeah. dealt pretty solid between the both of them in terms of both games. Got a kill this on Krom at 66%, yeah. so his edge guards were pretty Wait, is that back good. backwards? I thought Goman got the kill on him at 66%. That was the back air on the stretcher. Oh, you're right, yeah. I guess that's the lowest they died at. Yeah, yeah lowest they died, they died at. A little bit confusing, but I got 